Hey friends, it's Dwight. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great start to the weekend. So today we're going to do another pour on a 24 by 36 canvas. Now the thing is, is I haven't picked the colors yet. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to head up in my studio in a few minutes and go through what I have and we'll see what we're going to come up with. I wanted to make a comment that I've noticed in doing pours over the past few years is that to get really good self formation on your paintings, what I realized is, is that it's really probably mostly due to the Floetrol that we use. I know the paints can sell on their own. However, when I add Floetrol, I notice that the cells have so much more integrity and they're more defined. A few years back when Melly D started doing the dump and swirls, she didn't use Floetrol. She just used Liquitex pouring medium, water, and the paint. Now I've done that with a few paintings as well and the cells are still there, but they're just different. Um, they look more permeable, they don't look as solid. When you add the flow trawl, you get very defined cells. At least that's my experience. So I just wanted to pass that along. I really do think it's mostly due to flow trawl and sometimes a combination with certain paint brands. I'm gonna be using Deco Art brand paints today, a little bit of Dazzling Metallics, as well as just the regular um, um, acrylic paints. Okay, so I'm gonna go upstairs in a few seconds here. I'm gonna make some paints. I'll show you what I've got going and we'll get started in just a few minutes. Okay, here we are back in my studio with my paints all mixed up and ready to go. I'm going to be pouring them in this order, ending with the light blue on top. Now, I mentioned earlier that I'll be using um, Deco Art brands and Dazzling Metallics. However, I do have Folk Art Rose Gold and Folk Art Champagne. But let me just show you close up a little bit of the colors. Like I mentioned, this is Rose Gold and that is Folk Art metallic and then I have deep burgundy which is one of my favorite colors and that again that's Deco Arts Americana and then this is persimmon sort of a I don't know sort of like a clay looking orange and then this sort of creamy yellow is champagne one of my other favorite colors to work with of course I have ice blue here we have it I have teal, and then last but not least, Provence sky, so this nice sky blue. Now this is a 34 by, I'm sorry, 24 by 36 canvas, and um, I'm gonna be doing a dump and swirl. This is only half an inch edges, so I don't need um, too much extra paint. Now I did mix up about 20 ounces of black paint, which is more than enough. Um, I will see if I use it all. If I do, then I have to be very careful when I dump to make sure that I don't leave too much on the canvas. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, friends, hold on. I'm gonna prep the canvas, make sure it's level, and we'll get started here in just a second.
guys, it's Dwight. Here I am back with the first walkthrough. Um, you know, when I was thinking of a name for this, the word Phoenix came to mind because of all the red and the orange really came through. And I, I like all of the, let me turn the light off here. I like all of the movement in here, just all around up here, just the way this circles back through here. Fascinating, fascinating piece. So I'll move in a little bit, just show you some of the cells down here. Um, I just love sort of the multicolored cells. You can see some of the orange and the blue. Yeah, kind of cool. Cool. Yeah, I think... I'm not sure how this would look. Let's walk around to this side. I don't know. I think I like the other way better. What do you think? So guys, that was fun. That was interesting. Um, I like the color combination actually uh, with sort of the, the muddy red and the brick color and using that with the blue. I think it really stands out. So I used a little bit of that um, teal, and the teal really didn't show through, but I think it mixed with the blue. You can see a lot of the light, light blue through here, and um, yeah, I think that turned out pretty cool. Okay, guys, thanks for tagging along. Um, hope you have a great Saturday. Uh, I know it's a little hot where I am. It's about 95 degrees outside, um, so it's nice to be inside today, even though it's a beautiful sunny day, and um, we'll see you real soon.